everybody says this is a great place to live. Wonderful climate, beautiful streets, nicest people you'd ever want to meet. It's a real garden spot if you don't look in our backyard. Sickening, isn't it? Now, this goes on every day. It has to. Think of the consequences if these men let down even for a week. Yes, but it's a lot of junk. So we push it in a pile, scoop it up, haul it away, bury it, just get it out of sight. Never mind about the salvage that's in there, metals of all kinds, paper that could be recycled, glass to make more glass. And it's a great idea, isn't it? But it's too late at this stage. And look, they even make us pay to get rid of the stuff. And we all do it, I'll show you. Now here's a nice, neat girl, good planner, hard worker, gets good grades, starts her day like the rest of us with a cup of coffee, but right now she got something else on her mind, what to do. Oh yes, take out the trash. Now watch how she does it. See, it all goes in a sack, willy-nilly. Just throw it out, but there is a better way. Hold it. Yes, ma'am, I mean you. There is a better way. Now, let's start over. You see, separation is the name of the game. Right. Yes, you put the aluminum aside. Even aluminum cans. You see, it can be recycled. It's not trash anymore. She's a smart girl. Her conscience is driving her now, but she'll get the recycling habit like a lot of other smart gals and guys. Now, what did this campus community do? Well, all over town, they set up survival centers. Behind the stores, behind apartments, just spots where anybody could drop off the three items that it was decided could be recycled most profitably. Aluminum, clean glass of every kind, and, of course, newspapers. Now, if everybody follows the simple instructions, most of the stuff starts out right here in separate containers. That's a girl, cans by themselves, bottles by themselves and separated by color. Don't forget that aluminum tray. Have you guessed where this was happening? That's right. Isla Vista, just next door to the Santa Barbara campus of the University of California. Uh, here's a regular briefing session just before the kids set out to cover the survival centers they've set up all over town. A load of concerned students in a borrowed truck. Even the businessmen helped out. And they're off to gather up the weekly load of reusable items. That truck won't be empty for long. You see, the idea caught on. Oh, not everywhere. But it did make sense, and cooperation has been very good. And there's money in it, not a lot, particularly if you consider the hard work and devotion it takes. But there are companies that buy the aluminum and the newsprint and the glass. And the money that's earned is enough to set up one big recycling center in Isla Vista, like this one. And the money goes for printing, pay for phone calls to the city, to pay for the baler and the baling wire, and record keeping. It's, it's not the money. This is a direction-finding operation. These students want to point the way to an eventual full-time recycling effort, community-wide, nationwide. And we will all have to do it sometime. This is how it starts. Well, back to the grind. Lots of stuff ends up here that shouldn't, like ordinary metal cans. 
Right now, we can't profitably recycle them, so they're put aside. Some of those glass bottles are pretty big. If you're careful, they take up less space this way. And any bottle that still has metal caps or leftover metal rings has to be handled separately. Well, it's only hard work. Here at the big recycling center, the bucket brigade technique gets put into action. All right, let's call it a load and take off for the final stages. in the UCSB campus commissary building just around the corner from the big recycling center. We have a holding area for the total roundup of paper and cans and bottles. This is the final separation and processing point before they're picked up. up pretty quickly. Hundreds of tons of newsprint, thousands of bottles and cans ready to be picked up. This is fun, but can stomping is more than just a way to make noise and work off your hostilities. You see, these cans take up a lot less room in this condition. Twenty-five tons this trip and more on the way, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Suppose we could get all the paper in Isla Vista alone. Well, with volunteer help and your spare time, you can only do so much, but it's a start. Now, if you want to have a go at recycling, here's how it works. Aluminum cans and other aluminum waste, set aside, crush the cans to save container space, clean the glass bottles, separate them by color, remove all the metal. Bundle up the newspapers ready for bailing. By the way, no magazines or sacks. Well, here's our girl again. She may not be smiling, but I know she feels better, and everybody will if we can change all this. To this. <laughs> 